It's good, but I'm bad at this. How? Literally nothing happened. Like, for real. There wasn't even a kitten or anything. You just fell for no reason. Yeah, good. Oh, it's because I haven't named the tripod. I guess that's why it's upset. Let's see if you would just if you would come right here and do something cute. That'd be a great intro. That is absolutely perfect. Yeah, that was perfect. Hello new friends, hello old friends, and welcome to my channel. For those who don't know, my name is May. This is Isakuriko, and this is a quick disclaimer. Not affiliated, not associated, this company is not paying me, no one is paying me. If anyone might get sponsored or something for free, I will tell you my reference. Until then, just assume that I pay full price for everything. With that being said, I post the links to all of my videos on my Twitter and my Instagram. Uh, when I post a Sakurako on Twitter, they like and share and leave a little generic thank you for the video. That's either better or not. Um, yeah, so they acknowledge my existence, but they're not paying me. Nothing like that. I don't have friends there. Okay, so with that being said, all that out of the way. Uh, should I address the fact that I'm not in the studio? I'm not in my studio because I had no one to watch the kittens. I was supposed to record yesterday when I did have someone to watch them, but I am not feeling well and I was like, I'm gonna wait till I feel better. No, no I'm not. I'm going to force myself to do it now because otherwise it's just not gonna get done. Anyway, I'm here in this room so that I can keep an, keep an ear out for the kittens. So, let's just get in here. Um, Sakurika, where, where should I put this? I don't want to see. Can I put it here? Without knocking stuff over? Just, oh my. Okay, so, here on top there is a postcard. And on the back is a little hello and thing about the theme. Um, I'm gonna hold this. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna put pictures. Picture of this and a picture of the back. And I have a reading disability, so it's really hard for me to uh, actually read this stuff. I really do love this postcard. It's so pretty. They always are. And there's a booklet that tells you the theme. Islands of Okinawa. Oh hey, no ring lights. Horrible lighting, but no ring light. Very cool. And in here, there is an advertisement. If you leave a review, then you might win a box. There's information about all kinds of cool stuff. And there are little blurbs about snacks that are inside. Yeah, I'm gonna have those here on screen while I'm holding up the thing. I'm just gonna get in here. First is... I think these are Kokucho peanuts. Kokucho peanuts. There. Um, yeah. <laughs> Got my trusty knife right here. Flip. And I open them like this so that I can close them more easily. And no one's ever told me not to do this, so... As soon as someone says, stop using your knife like that, then I will, but... Oh no! Oh, I didn't bring a garbage. Here, chair. Be a garbage.
Is it actually focusing? Hmm. I don't have my glasses on, so everything is blurry. Hmm. I don't know what Kokuto is. It's sweet and it's peanutty. It's good. I like it. I don't know what it is, but I like it. This is oh the Kokuto. It's um it's special brown sugar, special Okinawan brown sugar. It says so in the bits that I never read. So this, are you focusing? I honestly can't tell. How close is too close? Where does it need to be? Uh, Okinawa salted caramel nut sable. So there's this, that's really good, it's like a peanut butter cookie. Mm -hmm. It's crunchy, obviously. It's peanutty. It's got that beautiful balance of sweet and salty. Mm -hmm. You can actually taste the salt. But it's not like intense or strong or anything. It's just, it's there. A lot of times it says salted caramel and it's just, just sweetness. But this is actually really good. I'm too close, but I can't move. Can I move? I need to plug you in. Give me a second. Mm, I hope that I didn't screw that up. I'm only two snacks in, so if I did screw up, then I'm sure it's fine. Summer Sunday. Smells good. Mm -hmm. It's got like a salty kind of sweet, it's like a sweet salty savory all at once. I like this. I'm also trying not to take a million years with each of these, because I do that. I just sit here and I ramble, and then I have to cut out a bunch of me rambling. <laughs> Literally the outtake for last week's video was me rambling. Okay. You know what? I'm put him over here in the little... I'm there you go. Fish in the aquarium. Ozui sweet fish. Oh yeah. Hmm, neat. Squish, squish. Oh, that is harder than a normal marshmallow.
Again, I'm too blind to see if it's actually focusing. Um, okay, so agar and egg whites. It's got the, you know, that coating that marshmallows have. Probably different. I'm just gonna uh, bite its head off. I'm not sure what I was expecting. Hmm. I want to say foamy, but like a, it's like it's got like a how do I describe this flavor? It was like minty, if that makes any sense. Like a, I don't know. I like it. I would eat more of it. I mean, I'm gonna finish this. I would eat more if they came. Hmm. I, I'm not sure how to describe this. I really like it. Denser than a, a regular marshmallow. Got like a. I don't know. I don't know. It's good. Okay. Another salt caramel nut sable. This was really good. Hi, Guru Chen. How does she do? Are you going to help? Tea. In every Sakurako, you get tea. Most of the time, you also get some kind of jelly. So I save the tea and the jelly, and I do them in a series that I call Tea Lee. Um, there's a huge playlist. I think I may have already done this one. So, let's see. Yes, I have. That's not for you. Uh, I should put that in a box, shouldn't I? Uh, yes, so I, this is on the playlist, but I'll probably do it again. So, subscribe for that. Uh, yeah. Um, another bag of tea. Kokuto Costella Cakes. I admittedly don't really like this kind of cake. Hmm. This isn't bad. The cake is not turning quite so pasty in my mouth. The sugar is crunchy. But like in a good way. The sugar is sweet and kind of earthy, very molassesy. And the cake itself is it's cakey, but it's not. See, my problem with Costello cakes is that 
sometimes if I take too big a bite, it like turns into like mush and paste in my mouth. These didn't do that. They stayed, I don't want to say crunchy, but not, not pasty. Okay. Next. Okay, so this is one of two things. It is either a um, uh, it's either an item from a previous box. I signed up for Securico like day one. So everyone who signed up the first, I forget if it was six months or a year, um, they got a handful of free snacks forever, to the best of my knowledge. So I get a handful of free snacks, always from previous boxes, so it's stuff I've already had. Um, <clears throat> this might also be whatever this is. I'm not doing it. I don't want to have to scan something. Period. End of discussion. So, I'm never going to know which one is this. But I think this is probably just from signing up so early. I love these. Are these? That's the wrong prefecture. I think these are from a previous box, too. Okay. These are from the Kyoto collaboration. So, I had before. As I recall, I liked them. The These ones are like plum, which is one of my favorite flavors. If you recall, I named my cat Ume. <laughs> And uh, I think this one up here is ginger. I remember I had that one when I went and got this guy. Because apparently pain can affect your blood sugar, so you should have like a snack. So yeah, I had that particular one. So these are Black Sesame Corinto. I love black sesame. Yeah, it's upside down. I opened it upside down. Deal with it. Um, that was good. I like black sesame. I like Corinto. I can never remember what it's made of, but it's got like a kind of earthy, fried flavor. Does that make sense? Earthy and fried? I'm pretty sure I've had this kind of cookie before. It's like a like a sugar cookie or like a butter cookie. Sweet potato. Mm -hmm. 
It's the texture of a sugar cookie. It's just got meh. Texture of a sugar cookie, flavor of a sweet potato. I love it. Ah! Or jelly. Oh, it's right here. Mango jelly. So, like I said, I already put the tea in the bag. So, subscribe for a tea leaf. Um, I'll probably do that tea still. I haven't actually tried this before though, so that'll be new. This is from a previous box as well. Um, they're wasabi pistachios. I think I called them peanuts last time. I couldn't remember what they were. So, there you go. I was right. <laughs> These are actually really good. They're crunchy and they're spicy. Very wasabi y. This is either from the previous box or the favorites one. I'm not sure. I don't remember what it is. But if it's not in the book, then I don't try it in that video. So. Next. Vanilla cream waffle cookie. It's all right. The vanilla is good. There's lots of cream. Wasabi sesame arare. So rare. The wasabi's actually got a kick to it. Mm -hmm. And then that like nutty flavor of the sesame. Mm -hmm. I like these. These are awesome. Mm. 
I love lemon. I love yuzu. Kind of indifferent when it comes to manju, but we'll see. Stop falling down. That has got the most beautiful citrus. It's not like an orange kind of citrus. It's like a lemony, sour, but not actually sour. It's, it's, it tastes like lemon and yuzu. It's got that like uber citrus of the yuzu. Good stuff. Another one of these cookies. The uh, sweet potato cookies. I really like these. This is from the previous box and or somebody's favorite. It is strawberry milk rice cracker. Just a strawberry belt rice cracker. It's good. It's so tiny. Shikuwasa Kokuto. Okinawan brown sugar infused with citrus from Shikuwasa. Citrus. Okay. So as much as yuzu gets compared to a lemon, that's how that's the way that um, Shizuwa she this gets compared to a lime. So it's kind of limey, but also not. Anyway, I'm just going to open this normally, or I could mess it up terribly. Oh, this is just, this is like maple candy. It's like hard and it's like hard sugar. feel about this. Beautifully crunchy and very sweet, but earthy, like molassesy. And then this like overtone of citrus. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was really good. So this is fried edamame. Got a great crunch. They don't really taste like much. I mean, they taste like edamame. Crunchy edamame. It's what they promised. It's what they delivered. Mm -hmm. That's good. 
I feel like that's the kind of thing that I'm gonna like eat in one big handful and then regret eating a big handful because then there's no more. Yes! Another one of these. Sometimes Kuroko gives you doubles, not of everything. I don't know if I already said that last time I got it. So, if I did that right, the last thing will be the housewares item. And every Sakuriko, you get a housewares item. It is a little goldfish plate. I love fish, just in general. Ta-da, there's another aquarium right there, but there's nothing in it. Um, this is extra funny. <laughs> Because I just finished reading the first installment of Shibuya Goldfish. And, uh, yeah, all of a sudden there's, like, goldfish everywhere. So, there you go. I don't want to have to explain Shibuya Goldfish, though. It's, um... It's a thing that I'm reading. It's weird. There's man-eating goldfish. Floating man-eating goldfish so far. If I did that right, then that's everything in August Sakurago. Everything was good. The plate is funny. <laughs> and, uh, that's it. That's all I have for you. Don't forget to like this if you like this. Do you have any idea what the timestamp is right now? Just admit it, you liked this. Welcome, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, you can leave a comment. I don't always respond like with text, but I always give the creator heart. Yeah, that's it, that's all. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye! You may have noticed that I'm not in the studio. What is on my hands? I'm going to have to go wash them. <laughs>